Hey there Planner fam, so I recently had a question from a customer who had bought one of my A5 size planner printables and she wanted to upsize it to fit US letter size paper. Now I know online there are a bunch of tables and charts and things that you can get that show you the percentages which you should use to increase or decrease things depending on what size you're starting at and what size you want to go to. But that just felt kind of awkward and clumpy. So I actually, clumpy, clunky. So I actually found quite quick and easy hack you may already know it but I figured I would share it here with you because I recorded her a loom showing her step by step in Adobe Acrobat can be the free version I use professional but these settings are all available in the free version of Adobe Acrobat showing her the settings of how to quickly and easily resize any planner printable as long as it is a PDF so here it is, I'm sharing it with you guys on YouTube. Um, enjoy and I hope it helps. Hey Christine, it's Chloe here. Thank you so much for your purchase and a great question on how to resize it from A5 to US letter. Now I've got the A5 version without crop marks open here. You don't want the crop marks one because you'll end up with funny lines on your page. So select the version without crop marks and then you're going to come into the print function for I'm in an Adobe Acrobat here so your PDF should if you've got Adobe Acrobat installed it should open by default in Adobe Acrobat I recommend it as my program of choice for PDFs there is a free version which should still have a lot of the same functionality as you're seeing here now when you open up the print dialog window you're going to select your printer that you're going to send the document to print to and you want to click on the properties for your printer. Now every printer is going to be slightly different so your print properties dialog window may look slightly different from my one. This is for a Canon printer. So if you've got a Canon printer, it might look exactly the same, but if you've got something else, it may look a bit different, but essentially you want to go down to where it says printer paper size and just make sure that that is selected to your US letter size paper and then click OK. Oh, and if you're printing more than one copy and you want to do duplex printing or make sure it only prints grayscale, then you can select those there. But for now, the main thing is to make sure that we are printing to letter size paper. And then what you want to do on the PDF print dialog window, under paper size and handling, you want to select the sizing options and you want to make sure that it is set to Fit. Now, normally I say select actual size so you don't get any weird um, scaling stuff going on where it tries to fit the page. But because we want to size this A5 insert up to US letter size and we want it to do a reasonably good job of it, if you just select fit, then the printer options will do all of that for you. And as you can see, when I try and do it actual size I've got a ton of white space around the actual tracker there in the middle but when I click to fit it fills the page uh, a lot better we don't have quite as much white space and it's just done the best that it can to make that A5 page fit to US letter size um, and then you just need to print and you can then select uh, if you want how many copies you want. Again, you can do the print on both sides option here. And yeah, I hope that that solves your question. Have a great day, bye.